Mr. Eric Martin, please unmute your device. Well, and state your name. Can you hear me? I can now, sir. Capital E, lowercase r-i-c, of the, capital M, lowercase a-r-t-i-n family, a living sovereign, one of the people. Assistant Public Defender Davi Lebo as standby counsel. Thank you. We're here for a pretrial today, and a bench warrant is still outstanding for Mr. Martin. That's correct, Your Honor. As it relates to the pretrial, uh, I believe the last time that we saw Mr. Martin, it was on December 7th. And he had some difficulty viewing the video that we had sent via flash drive. I encouraged him to get with his standby counsel, who at that time was APD Sandra White. Uh, he did not appear at that next hearing, but she did confirm that they had spoken um, almost every day and um, that he they had reviewed the video. So my understanding is that Mr. Martin has been able to view the complete discovery, including all of the media. Um, I know that we were headed to a jury trial, so... Um, I will leave it to Mr. Martin to um, confirm that so we can get going with selection. Mr. Martin? Yeah, I looked at the video uh, and I followed, uh, yeah, I looked at the video and I also followed some uh, demands uh, to dismiss some self-incrimination based on the video along with some others that have not been decided on, um, which uh, should be decided on before any trial schedule or anything else. Mr. Martin, I've decided on all the motions that you've brought before me. And the way this works is if I make a motion ruling, then the party making that motion has to prepare the order. So when you complain about no orders being prepared, that's your not preparing them, sir. I, mean, I, 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 think, I think my words were very clear. I understand what you're saying. You're saying because I didn't style it as a motion or something? What are you saying? I'm saying that I already ruled on them. So when I rule on them, it's up to the party to prepare them. That's you. I did prepare them specifically. My demand to dismiss. Prepare, sir, you did not prepare my ruling order, which was that they are denied. I mean, they're they're denied, but you didn't rule on it. How does okay. that happen? Do you have anything else? You yes, Miss McDuffie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. I did just want to clarify one point because Mr. Martin, I think, um, mentioned that he had um, he wanted to move to dismiss based on incriminating statements after he had reviewed the video. So I don't know if there's a sort of Miranda issue he's raising or not. But I would just, um, I guess, for the record, remind Mr. Martin that when he appeared for the hearing on the five documents that he filed, demands, motions, whatever you want to call those. Um, Mr. Martin, during that hearing, uh, rattled off the fact that he did not have a valid license, his vehicle wasn't registered, and he didn't have insurance and didn't feel like he needed to do any of those things. So if there are any incriminating statements that would relate to the counts in this case, he has made them multiple times, including on the record, in this court at his own hearing. So if any statements were suppressed from that media, they would still come in from statements he's made in court. Well, I object to the decision when it's self-incriminating. Uh, as I pointed out, state in my demand to dismiss, as the U.S. Supreme Court said, that uh, license ain't necessary. We're not using the streets for profit, which the cops have no evidence. Mr. Martin, you're, need, you're gonna need to speak up if you want to have a transcript of this because it's not. Well, I'm speaking Let's up. See. Let's see how they're okay. Can you can you bring the microphone closer to you, Mr. Martin? Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Is it kind of a little closer now. How's that? Is that any better? How's that? How's that? Yeah, yeah, please keep talking in the same volume that you're using right now so we can hear it. Well, I object to what she just said about I made some self-incriminating statements. That's not true because as I pointed out in my demands to dismiss, the law is in my favor, the higher supreme law, such as the statute, which is supreme law of the land, 
Under Article 6 of the U.S. Constitution, federal statutes override state statutes, along with the Packer v. Banton case I uh, cited and sent a uh, quote from the law book uh, on that clearly said from the U.S. Supreme Court that the people have a right to use the roads, not a privilege. A quote from the law book. I'm sorry. I was trying to stay out of the way, but it's too good. It's right. And uh, as long as you're not using the streets for profit, which I wasn't doing, and there was no evidence. And the cops have no evidence of that. So I was exercising my right to travel. Didn't need a license, insurance, registration, none of that. So uh, nothing self-incriminating about what I say. There's no legit case here. I don't know how to put this. But I'm kind of a big deal. And uh, which is why I beat a, a case on the same exact issue in Southgate. Same exact issue. Prosecutor moved to dismiss it because they know they had, they had no win the case. The higher law is in my favor. The state law is unconstitutional. That's assuming everyone's driving a motor vehicle when they're not. And I'm working to change that state law. I'm going to. I already got a federal lawsuit filed on it in the Detroit courthouse on a Lafayette Boulevard. Right now I got to fight one about filing fees, but when I overcome that, they'll be, they'll be deciding on the merits and uh, I will be winning on that issue and the state law will be changed. It's going to stop making the presumption, the state statute law, that everyone's driving a motor vehicle even when it's not for profit. See, that's the problem with the state law. It's unconstitutional. Cops are, cops are blindly following that acting as if that and then the so-called courts are acting on that presumption no everyone's driving a motor vehicle they need a license insurance so no they don't they're not doing it for profit they're exercising the right to travel so you're on it um I'm, I'm sorry mr martin since mr martin has again um made those same statements that i referred to earlier and this prosecutor will not be dismissing anything in this case we will be proceeding to trial if he doesn't want to plead to it um let me ask the court if i could um, are we ready to set this? I understand he has a desire to file an endless amount of lawsuits and grievances and motions, but the court has indicated we are past that point. Are we ready to set this case for jury selection or no? Yes, we are. Thank you. All right, any motion that was just made, whatever he's entitling that is denied. Um, so you deny some, you don't even know what it is. But anyways, you still have there's still demands uh, to dismiss that haven't been ruled on as a matter of law, which what a lot of them are, such as the state as a party. I thought it demanded dismiss because the state is the party here. Thank you. The state in, in this court, so-called court, has no jurisdiction, as indicated as I indicated in uh, in my demand under the U.S. Constitution. Only the sir, sir, I'm not hearing those motions again. On October 26, I made a ruling on all of those motions, and you have not prepared the, the order to that effect. We're done with those motions. You see no order? Is that the no. major selection, Your Honor? Or no, no it's not. We're going to do a July 25th uh, jury, uh, July 25th final settlement conference. Mm -hmm. Okay. August 9th, July 25th, 2024. Hold on, let me write this down here. Hold on one second. One second, please. And I'm also going to make a, a demand right now for a compensation also for this uh, making me proceed against my will under threat and arrest to the so-called court proceedings. Uh, in violation of my 13th Amendment right against slavery. Um, all these court proceedings are against my right against slavery. So I'm entitled to compensation for, uh, for all the uh, court proceedings that I had to uh, make in this case. Otherwise, I would have possibly been arrested. So it was only under threatened arrest. It wasn't by consent willingly. Mr. Martin knows that the jury selection is in person, correct? I haven't finished telling him all of that yet. I'm getting the dates. I'm okay. going to tell him in just one second. Mm -hmm. All right. The uh, final settlement conference in this case is going to be on July 25th, 2024 at 11 a.m. And that is on Zoom. The August 9th jury selection is in person. And that's at 8.30 a.m. on August 9th. 
Hold on. July 25th, 24th, right? 8 p.m. a.m., you said, right? It's at 11 a.m., sir. You know, I want to be understood. I'm not um, willingly giving up my right to be one of the sovereign people and uh, by this jury, but you know. Jury selection is August 9th, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. You said 24th? It's at 8.30 a.m. I meant to say 8.30 a.m. You said the 24th now or you say the 25th? August 9th, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. is the jury selection, sir. I thought you just said July, I mean, uh, 7.25-24. That is the final settlement conference. That is on Zoom. Hold on, I got uh, one thing at the time. Okay, now, now let's do the, uh, what's the other date now, August? What else? August 9th. Okay. At 8.30. Okay. 8.30, and what's that considered, uh, what's that called there? Jury selection, sir. Now is it which is in person here now the, the seven twenty five twenty four is that something I have to be there in person for? I'm being for the fourth the time, Mr. There. Martin. Please listen. The first event, which is in July, is on Zoom. The last event is in person. So we got it. So we're saying a whole bunch of work, you know. All right, we're done today. Have a good day, Mr. Martin. Bye-bye. Ah, well, there you have it. I stayed out of the way because it was short, and I know it was short. Everybody sent it to me for good reason. M Mr. Martin's always a good time. I had fun. I actually I actually squeezed his, his, uh, his picture <laughs> into another one of the squares with his clown shoes on. <laughs> I do, however, feel cheated. He kept saying threat and duress, and I wanted a coercion, and nine times out of ten, that's mis mispronounced coercion. <laughs> I, I feel like it didn't complete my bingo card because there was no coercion. <laughs> but there you have it. Rachel Duffy, I, the, the, she's saying, they've got a video of him saying, you know, I don't, I don't have this stuff, like, making a mission of all the offenses obviously then he goes and admits it in court she says you know he's made the admissions in open court here which he has those are admissible he's screwed <laughs> she can literally she can really prove up this case with the video she doesn't even need a witness she'll get one but that's what i'm saying uh so then and then he he argues he's like no i didn't make any incriminating statements which he, he did and then he proceeds to make them again <laughs> it's fantastic it's so good all right so like this everyone is also telling me that there, there may be fireworks over in judge simpson at three o'clock because some knucklehead uh, is representing himself and spewing nonsense so I've sit nonsense. I've got a I've got a hearing right now. I got to button up my shirt and go to my hearing. <laughs> but I th I think I'll stream I think I'll stream the doings uh, in in Judge Simpson or you know he may not show up so you know, whatever. Then we still have Judge Simpson being funny so it's it's all good. Yeah, three. Apparently I haven't seen it, but apparently the Judge Simpson tells tells him to be there at three, and this guy says he, he's gonna be there at three thirty. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I I have my doubts if the guy will show up at all. That probably that probably ends with a bench warrant and him getting picked up and a fun appearance. I don't know. Sometime next week, <laughs> if I had to guess. But it may happen today. It may happen today if he shows up. If he shows up after he's riled up Simpson with, I'm, I'm going to tell you when I show up, it, it, it's not going to go well. <laughs> I mean, with any judge, I'm not really saying Simpson's out of line here. The, you, when you tell the judge, no, 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 we're not doing it on your schedule, we're doing it on mine, that next appearance is going to be ugly. <laughs>
<laughs> like every time any judge. All right. Thank you all for coming out. I'll see you all soon.